So you clicked on this video because you knew that something has gone horribly wrong. And uh, by the title of this video, you probably know what this is already. But if you haven't, well, you're kind of in luck. Unfortunately, you're only in luck because this is one of the most shocking situations of all time. And I just don't understand why do we have so many officers who are willing to basically take one's life without using their tasers. I mean, if you're gonna tell them to, to put their hands up, don't shoot them. Don't shoot them in fear. Why not have your taser with you instead of a gun? Anyway, the video I'm about to show you in just about, about a moment now is about a kid named Adam Toledo, who I heard just recently, a few hours ago. Well, 24 hours, like around now, that uh, he got basically shot by a Chicago police officer. So, without further ado, I'm gonna bring you that video now. This is him right there, and from the grainy footage, it looks it looks like he appeared to be dropping a gun, which is on the other side of the fence, which is why he turned around and and as he was putting his hands up very quickly, the officer shot him and he fell to the ground. Like he was lifeless. I mean, I just don't understand. Why do cops do that? So now I will read the, the rest of the responses from Twitter. It is a tragedy what happened, but Adam Tullio put on a gun during a police chase. It turned out he only pulled it out to throw it behind a wall, but from the cop's point of view, Adam Tullio could have turned around and shot the police. Difficult situation all around. He was told to stop. He stopped. He was told to raise his hands. He raised his hands. He was a scared 13 year old who listened and complied. Hashtag Adam Talib. I don't give a fuck of how late Adam, Adam Talib was out at night. That's no justification for the police to murder a 13 year old kid of color. If one more stupid asshole lands in my reply saying Adam Toledo, Adam Toledo had a gun prior to when the cop encountered him, I swear to God, I am going to rupture a blood vessel. Cops are not supposed to kill someone standing there with their hands up. Jesus fucking Christ, you idiots. Guess which one got shot and killed? 
Hashtag Adam Toledo. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. A double standard of who's innocent and who's not. Two systems, one country. Yep. The double standard of who's innocent and who's not. Once again, I have to say this. He was 13 years old. 13 freaking years old. Adam Toledo put up his hands and still got shot to death. Police lied. He carried a gun. Calvin House carries the gun at Black Lives Matter protests, kills people, and hails a white hero. Police protect him. You can't reform from this. Don't care if his hands were up. Don't care if his hands were down. None of that matters. What matters is this state has given the police authority over who lives and dies. And I want that to end. Abolition is the only way. This is the point. Hashtag Adam Toledo. Also, I really hope y'all finally stop taking the police at their word for a millionth time. Unfortunately, there still might be some people who might still be on the police's side. Because they're too naive to notice that the police nowadays are incapable of doing their jobs the right way. When you're trying to arrest somebody, you don't pull out a gun and shoot them. You pull out a taser. Death shooting. Adam Toledo was a 13-year-old Hispanic boy who was shot and killed by police. He complied with their orders, as seen in the body cam footage, yet he was still shot in the chest. He didn't have a weapon in his hands. I will be leaking information about his about him under. I'm upset that no one in my timeline is talking about this. Adam Toledo was a 13 year old Hispanic kid who was shot and killed by the police. Adam was complying with the police and he had his hands in the air, however he was still shot in the chest. The gun was not near his body, the gun was on the floor and there was no way he could reach for the gun to potentially harm the police. The gun was completely out of reach from him. The gun was not his. It was given to him by a friendly friend slash gang member. People are justifying Adam's death because his name was Little Homicide and saying he had it coming. The kid was 13. It does not matter if that was his nickname or not. He did not deserve to die the way he did. He had an entire life ahead of him, but it was cut short. Adam did not deserve to die. He was 13 years old and complying with the police. Sadly, he was still shot and killed. Please read this thread to get more information about this. And this thread here basically kind of repeats a similar thing that the, I read on a rat on the last thread of the tweet. If you've read one thing about Alan Toledo, then it'd be what his mother wrote about a child. Yeah, let me read this part here. He had a big imagination and curiosity since he was a little baby. He was goofy and always cracking jokes, making everyone, everyone laugh. He loved animals and riding his bike. He left to Toledo said in a statement. Adam was really into zombies and a zombie apocalypse. He even had this zombie apocalypse bag packed and ready to go. Some of his favorite movies and TV shows were Cl Cloudy, The Chance of Big Falls, Ghostbusters, Spongebob Squarepants, Toy Story, Cars, The Walking, and The Walking Dead, she said. Hmm, nice. I like some of these shows too. His Pally flavored taco, bow, pig, pizza, chicken wings, chips, and candy, she said. I think I think it meant his favorite foods. May he rest in peace, she, she said. And yes, may Adam Til Toledo rest in peace because he needs to get some justice. I mean, come on, we all know that cops like this should not be killing isn't people. It's just wrong. Okay, so now I'm gonna 
bring you a video from Reuters that tweeted me, the attorney of Adam Tilio's family, saying this. Those videos speak for themselves. Adam, during his last second of life, did not have a gun in his hand. The officer screamed at him, show me your hands. Adam complied, turned around. His hands were empty when he was shot in the chest at the hand of the officer. He did not have a gun in his hand, contrary to the reports made earlier today. He tossed the gun. If he had a gun, he tossed it. The officer said, show me your hand. He complied, he turned around. There's a still photo going around on the internet with his hands up, he shot in the middle of his chest. I don't know if the officer had enough time or not. All I know is that the officer is trained to not shoot an, uh, an unarmed individual not shoot an unarmed child. There are topics in the consent decree with regard to foot pursuits, training, etc. This needs to be addressed in this investigation. If he asked him to toss it and show his hands and the kid complied, then he shouldn't be shot. Real GNF. Alan Toledo was corroborating the police. Had his hands up and was not holding a gun. He was not a threat, but the officer is still shot he was 13 years old, he wasn't seen as a threat because of the gun, but more so due to the fact he was Latino. I mean, that is just very, 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 very disappointing. It really is. Oh, you have somebody justifying this. Look closer, you had a gun in his hand. He had fired a gun eight times. No. No, he had He was... He was given the gun by somebody else, which I'll probably read in just a moment, but this girl says it best. The problem isn't the gun. A white man shot and killed two people, had possession of a gun at the time, resisted arrest, was taken into custody without injury. A 13-year-old Latino boy with a gun who wasn't being resistant, shot and killed. See the problem? And I and I clearly see the problem, but if the article doesn't respond in likely the next 10 minutes or so, with a cooperative response, then you'll probably, then you'll probably know that he doesn't see the problem. It was tenths of a second between this frame and the one of him cooperating, quote unquote cooperating. Fuck off, you're actually insane. Get your dumb ass off Twitter and take a look at the real world around you. This shit is real and happens every day. Yeah, I mean, come on. You're gonna blame 13 year old kid who's probably scared to death because Probably got tricked by a random person who told him to hold a gun for him while he escapes. I mean, how cruel can you be that you're gonna hate on a 13 year old who, who was probably out at night and didn't know he'd be he'd any better? Like, really. His gang name was Little Homicide. He shot each shot. He was without a gun for two seconds. He literally just dropped the gun. You are wrong, it's ready for most info. I don't think she was. Even so, a white man shot and killed two people, was armed with a gun, and was a grown man. He was taken peacefully into custody even though he refused arrest. See the problem? I mean, seriously. It's sad that she has to say this to so many dumb people. Because clearly, clearly, Adam Toledo, to my knowledge, is innocent. He was innocent this whole time, and again, he, Alan Toledo was tricked into holding the gun by another person who originally had to be arrested, and he and he had to escape because he had to give the gun to Alan Toledo. 
And I bet your ass that Adam Toledo wanted no part of this. He wanted to be alive for the rest of his life. And now that he can't, what good is it, is it there for any cop to go there and police the way they should police in today's world? It's just unfair, really. That's crack the heart. Police put down to gun violence. Alan Toledo. Hashtag Alan Toledo. Please educate yourselves on what's happening. Alan Toledo was shot and killed by the police. He was armed, raised his hand when he was told he listened, and was still shot by the police. Say his name. And at crack the heart, posted some links for everyone of his group, I guess in the crackly group, to know what happened, because it's kind of important to them, too, that they know what's going on, and uh, I'm just glad that, that the young generation today are focusing on what's really happening right now, because this stuff really should not happen. It shouldn't. He literally held a gun? He was literally a child. Yeah, he was literally a child. Why does that matter? Uh, it matters because a child does not know any better and, and how you can blame them for the mess that they didn't really do. Pac-Man 1. Since when can child not be dangerous? Also, how would they know his age? Like 17. Kids are impressionable. They become the product of their environment. How would they know? Isn't a... Isn't that another reason as to why cops should be cautious? Either way, lives shouldn't be taken. I think that firing his gun should have been been the absolute last option. Watch the vid, he looked like he was drawing the gun. Also, cops should value their life over net of a potential armed threat. End of story. First of all, Adam Toledo wasn't armed. He was unarmed and he threw the gun over to the right side of the fence. He threw the gun behind the fence. He had his hands up barely five seconds passed since he turned around and he was shot valued their life over sentence is not their job and what they commit to? Putting their life on the line for the people? The whole ordeal, if you watched the video at all, took place less, in less than a second or two. In situations like that, it comes down to instinct. And yeah, value their lives over others, anyone, because they're humans too, and their line of work doesn't make them lesser humans. If instinct makes you murder a 13-year-old instead of using any other form of restraint, then you shouldn't be a fucking officer, says old Taku Taki underscore. And yes, I agree. If you don't have a taser on you, and you're just gonna randomly shoot somebody that you're actually supposed to arrest, then you shouldn't be fucking cop. I mean, it's kind of clear. And then the conversation goes on and on and on here. So, yeah. But I said what I need to say over some of the dumbest comments at all made by Devin here. I just put my boys down for the night, kissed them, and told them I loved them. Adam Talia was only 13. He is dead. His parents can no longer tell him that they love him. This breaks my heart. Yet another family shattered by a life taken too soon. Merely from undying pain. I don't know about you, but I can't sleep. My mind won't go quiet. My heart is so burned by all the, of the happenings, weighed down by all of the hate and virtual. Tired from the reckless fights. Things have to get better. Sometimes 
we do all we can, and yet, tomorrow, I'm going to begin personally calling every Democratic member of the U.S. Senate, and I will write to my U.S. Senators from South Carolina, and for our kids, I'll ask them to pass the Georgia Floyd Policing Act now. It's far from perfect, but this epidemic cannot continue, and the pain must end. Yes, we need to pass this law. I totally agree with the ch- DNC chair. Yeah, I totally agree with it. We need to pass this law. This cannot go on any longer. I don't want to see any more innocent childs getting killed by cops. I mean, come on. We had enough already. I mean, just look what happened to Trayvon Martin when he was killed by, by an idiot back in like, what, 2013 or 2012? That was bad enough. Bernice Kate, I can't watch the police in the video of Adam Leo being killed by Chicago police. I don't want to hashtag his name. This is a national emergency at POTUS and will require more than training. This is not quote unquote public safety. This is an institutionalized violence against black and brown people. Yes, and it has gone on long enough. The sooner we have have some things done, the sooner we can all live in a peaceful world one day. And she has this picture that she tweeted along with what she says, which quoted Martin Luther King saying, we can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. Then comes Andy Nogo, who's basically treating like a jackass, trying to paint the kid as a as a shooter slash criminal when he is not. I mean, seriously, Andy Nogo is totally in the wrong for that. And I don't even know why he still has this stupid job. I mean, seriously, I don't even know why he still has this. Didn't he got blasted by Antifa back, back in 2017 when Trump was elected over the last, I don't know, six months over the summer of 2017? That, that could probably be why any no-go is was wildly known for, for being attacked. And, you know, a lot of people hate him, which is kind of a, which isn't that a surprise to me because he practically doesn't report on anything from what happened to the Republicans and all that. He just reports on innocent people who did nothing wrong. While, again, he tries to paint the person who died in a bad light, like Adam Tully. He tried to he tried to do that by bringing up these two pictures. Like, come on, Andy Nogo. Don't you have a fucking heart? Seriously, why do people like you still have a job? Again, I have to say this. I have to say this. Why do you still have a job? You are the type of person that has no compassion. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna read this article. Al Al Kai Girls as police officer in Adam Toledo shooting is a done by as Eric Stillman. But we know. Al Kari's growing after a watchdog agency released a disturbing video Thursday of a Chicago police officer shooting 13 year old Adam Toledo, who appeared to have his hands up, cast doubt on prior accounts from police and city officials who initially described the incident as an armed confrontation. The officer who fatally shot Adam last month was also identified. Thursday as Eric Stillman, 34, who is white. Adam is seen as Stillman's body camera running video running down an alley as Stillman chases him in a largely Latino neighborhood on the city's west side. As Adam slows down near fence and turns to face Stillman with his hands up, the officer fires within a second. Surveillance video filmed 
from across the parking lot, also released Thursday, shows Adam tossing what appeared to be a gun behind a fence before turning around, turning towards Stillman. Simply put, we failed Adam and we cannot afford to fail one more person, young person in our city, Mayor Lori Lightfoot said Thursday before the videos were released. She called for calm and peace and asked Chicagoans to reserve judgment and wait until we hear all the facts. Hours after the videos were released Thursday, a handful of protesters gathered downtown in Millennial Park hours. Okay, that's such a mouthful. Several hours held several held two banners, one lift the words Black Lives Matter and the other lift the words defund poli the police. Chicago has been prepared, preparing for potential unrest following the video's release. Like said, the city has been preparing for the Shaman trial for months now. And as part of those preparations, we have been in regular contact with businesses all across the country, all across the city, I mean, not just in the downtown area. Thursday, as the officer who should shot Adam, he was placed on an administering leave for 30 days. Stillman is a 10th district patrol officer and has been in the department since August 2015, according to Case Incident Fort. Three complaints and four use of force reports have been filed against Stillman between 2017 and mid-2018, according to the Invincible Institute, which records fully records released interactions with the public. Among the allegations filed by citizens were two that claimed improper searches of cars and use of force violations. However, information on the disposition of those cases is unclear from the records. Who was Adam Toledo? Adam was a loved and supported 13 year boy from close family. The family said in a statement through a lawyer's lawyers earlier this month. He lived with his mother, his 90 year old grandfather, and two of his siblings, and his father was in his life. The statement said he attended Gray Elementary School, where he had the support of his teachers and his classmates. The statement said, according to Chicago Public Schools, Gary is a high-rated school serving more than 900 students from third through eighth grade. Nearly 98% of the students are Hispanic, and 95% are low income. Adam's family was shown in the video of their son's death Tuesday, but as it not to be immediately released to the public. The experience was extremely difficult and heartbreaking for any, everyone present, and especially for Adam's family. Family attorneys Adina Wes Ortiz and Joe Hirschhorn said in statement Tuesday, I probably butchered that last name right. Thursday morning, the lawyers issued a joint statement with the mayor's office saying both parties agree that all materials should be released. And as of yesterday, they have been released. I'm going to tell you right now, Adam Toledo did not deserve to die. He really did not. This is another example as to why you shouldn't have cops on the force who don't know a taser from a gun. And I said this in some way so many times, but again, if you are a cop and if you have the authority to arrest somebody, you should not be using a gun to to put someone under arrest. You should be using a taser if you're going to handle somebody. If you're going to arrest somebody, by telling them to put their hands up, you, you need to have them alive. You shouldn't shot them in, like, over fear. Like, seriously, this is a harmless fucking 13-year-old child. A 13-year-old teenage boy. And all he had to do, and all he had to do, which is one part of your job, is to use a taser, not a gun. This guy was scared to death. He didn't know any better. 
he was tricked by this by a stupid idiot that handed him the gun earlier. Adam Toledo did not deserve to lose his life. It was the person who handed him the gun that deserved to lose his life. Adam, T if Adam Toledo would have been alive today, then these types of situations would have been corrected 10 seconds ago, or at least 15 seconds ago, instead of shooting an innocent child who did nothing wrong who threw the gun over to the other side of the fence and immediately surrendered by putting his hands up. The last thing you should do to ruin your job as a police officer for serving your community for about 10 to 20 years or 30 plus years is to go and shoot somebody that you're supposed to arrest. Alive. Rest in peace to Adam Toledo. He deserved way better than this. And I wish that we have a time machine that undoes all, all of the innocent people who have been killed for no reason.